this is where the embarrassing extent of my let's say previous hoarder behavior is really coming out so like just be a little bit gentle with your judgment here Good morning my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. As you will have seen from the title this is going to be a decluttering video. I am going to do like my clothing at some point as well because that really needs to be redone because now I've moved I have all my things here everything is out of storage but I figured I was going to start with my shoes because it feels a little bit less daunting it feels like it's going to be easier. That's what I thought. I counted and I'm not like, I didn't count that carefully, but I know that there are almost 50 pairs of shoes here. That is obviously so out of control and so unnecessary and not really what I want. So it's definitely a work in progress. I think most of the shoes that I have bought over the past year, really, I have been really happy with. Like I still really love them. I feel like they are quality. I think the main problem is shoes I have hung on to for years and years please don't judge me for this video because i know it's going to be bad uh but we'll get through it together first i'm gonna show you sort of the damage so first of all i have these shelves here uh as you can see they are already kind of like filled up a little bit and then i also have to pull out uh sort of shelves here and i'm sorry these are so disgusting i was hoping my camera was going to blur that Please don't judge me. This is the result of years of not being critical enough. I want to emphasize that I think I have gotten a lot better the past, at least like especially the last year, but the last couple of years, I have been a lot more critical with what I add to my wardrobe and I just haven't been that good at getting rid of the things that are no longer really good. Some of them are just so like, Oh, ragged and worn and it's embarrassing that I have kept them I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna start with a pair that I won't get rid of but these sandals I bought these last year and they're super cute I've only worn them a couple of times they have this like lace up on the foot I think they're really pretty super cute and I actually can walk in these surprisingly because shoes that have these like lace up situation going on tend to be horrible like they don't have a lot of support but these are definitely among the better i have tried i'm so sorry we're gonna start out with some really disgusting shoes these shoes right here are obviously the plexi like they were super hot a few seasons ago the pvc really molds to your foot so they're actually surprisingly comfortable to wear the problem is that like they have ripped at the top here don't know if you can see that how have i not gotten rid of this it gets even worse because it happened on the other foot as well and that's even like more drastic can you see that like this there is no way this much of heel is going to keep that shoe on so i am going to get rid of them i have just held on because i need to buy a new pair so i'm going about this in like not the most organized way i'm just grabbing whatever is in front of me i'm not going by like summer shoes or pretty shoes or whatever but uh these i bought in december so i'm obviously keeping them they are the guess boots i can't remember what they're called uh i really like these they're super comfortable to wear they're obviously very inspired by louis vuitton but i just think they're super cool i have another pair of boots they are these sort of faux suede boots i've had this pair since when did i buy this i know i wore them for that i wore these for a trip to berlin and that was in 2012 i think and I bought them the year before so you know so these are definitely really old and they are worn can you see that like toe there like why do I keep this why do I keep this I'm gonna get rid of them look underneath they are just these are begging to be gone uh, let's grab this what is this oh these are my like murder weapon stiletto heels they are really really high so i only wear these when i know i'm going to be sitting a lot or if i have some backup shoes with me i walk so so slowly in these like a turtle could hunt me down uh but they are really beautiful i wouldn't say i wear them all the time but i wear them enough that 
I definitely can't get rid of them. Uh, next, I actually have a pair of pair of shoes that I tend to wear with the last pair I showed you. They are these um, butterfly twist. It's not like the most flattering shoe. Uh, it's not really my style. But the only reason I'm keeping these and I am not going to get rid of them is you can do this and you can put them in your bag. Please don't judge me for this. Okay, so this is a pair of uh, a heel height that I never tend to wear. At least not in this kind of like skinny stiletto style. It's in that like really awkward mid-stage like thin, it's wobbly and I find that this around the foot is quite unattractive. It just cuts off my leg in like not the most flattering way. I take these on and I'm like this looks not great. So these have to go. I have not treated these as nicely which is white shoes just wear so quickly so they are my only pair of white sort of stiletto pumps like this so i'm definitely going to keep them but when i need to upgrade i'm probably going to go for something more high quality because i actually quite like wearing these wearing white heels i mean not necessarily those exact shoes then we have a pair of sandals i think i bought these in 2011 and these are <laughs> well worn. I've just really held on to these shoes because every time I wear them people are like oh they're so cool and they were but like this isn't really that hot anymore is it? The main issue however I'm not just getting rid of them because of that but when I wear them I broke my toe a while back and after that uh, some shoes just don't fit right and this strap right here my toe always blisters it gets like stuck between these two and i have terrible blisters so um even though it's a very practical shoe i have others i'm going to show you i have others that are not black but like i'm going to wear that instead so these are definitely going i've been meaning to get rid of those for years and i've just never been able to i'm going to grab a pair of slides these i bought last year i think they are the cutest thing ever i got them from sara and they're very sort of like Mew Mew inspired, uh, super cute and they are actually leather as well. The only thing I don't like is that I wish these were two straps because they can sometimes pinch the skin a little bit but it's not a huge issue and I do wear these a lot. They're great for just like popping on either going to the beach or just running a few errands. They're also just adorable so I'm definitely keeping these. So far all the shoes I've decided to keep have been quite recent purchases. Let's do this pair. Do you have a friend? All right, so these right here are obviously some like barely their sandals and they have this like pretty high stiletto heel again. It's a little bit hard to walk in and there is obviously very little support here, but I do love them. Uh, they are just a little bit worn because I have worn them a lot and I feel like they're just getting like a little bit too tired maybe. Um, I just can't get rid of them without getting a new pair. But will I get a new pair unless I get rid of them? I'm gonna put them in my... Yeah, I decide later. This was going well there for half a second. Another pair of slides, again from Sara. These are two years old soon. They are also leather. I got these in the sale. They have so many good shoes in the sale. <laughs> I love this sort of crisscross detail here and they are just go-to. They're very light, so such a great neutral shoe for summer. I bought these last year. They are from Mango and they are also leather. Um, they were a little bit more expensive, but I think they are definitely worth it. They are obviously very much designer inspired. I think they're super cool. I love this heel under here and because it's flatter, it's actually quite easy to walk in look they're they're pretty beat up already i kind of wish i bought it back up because i think it's such a cool shoe and i love it it is one of my favorite pairs of shoes what i often like to ask myself when i do a clear out and declutter is would i purchase this item again today and i know this is a very personal thing it's not going to work for everyone but for me if i'm like eh, probably not that often 
means that it's not something I'm actually wearing anymore. These I love, love, love. Even a year later, I think they are just some of the coolest shoes I own. So they are definitely staying. I even have them in black. I don't tend to do this, but I actually bought them in both the colors they came in. I was a pretty good customer in Mango last year. I love the white a lot more, but these are definitely staying as well. They look a lot newer because I haven't worn them as much and they're also black, so they're just holding up better. These sandals, they're so dirty, please don't judge me. Um, they're so dusty and these have that little wedge. These are also quite old. Every time I wear it, I keep getting blisters here again, but I didn't in the beginning, but then I guess my feet maybe changed. But, and also the wedge here is really thin. Can you see that? Like it's, it's a very sort of fairly flat shoe. And this one should not be more difficult to balance in than this. But it is so like that is ridiculous these are also like i want to say 2012 purchase and i haven't worn them for a few years or i wear them like once every summer and remember how uncomfortable and painful they are and then i didn't get rid of them why 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 okay i have two pairs of wedges here and i don't know if i can justify keeping both I really love obviously all the texture in this. It's very summery, really pretty. I love the gold hardware detail at the back. It makes it just a little bit more extra. But then I also have this wedge right here, which is a little bit more, they have different vibes, right? I just really don't know. I find it so difficult to decide between these two. Actually, you know what? Let me know which shoe do you think I should keep out of these two? Because for now, I'm finding it way too difficult to decide. You know what, I'm gonna make this even worse and I'm gonna show you the next pair here. Nobody needs this many high-heeled brown sandals. These super thick uh, high heel sandals, I think these are adorable. I am definitely keeping these. I love wearing these with like long dresses. They are just super stable. I might pick these over the wedges this is like where i want to quit like when it gets too difficult and i feel like either i'm gonna keep everything or throw everything away i just bought these from h&m i waited for so long because they weren't in stock and as soon as they got one pair in my size i grabbed them they have such a comfortable molded really thick sole as well so i'm super excited about that obviously not getting rid of those uh i have this pair of heels right here I love these. I have worn these a ton. You can hardly even tell as well. They have just held up so well. I bought these from Zara and they are obviously the sort of like semi-plexi heels, like the see-through panels. They are very much a dupe for the Gian Vito Rossi shoes. They are just super easy to walk in. They're so comfortable. They have this beautiful pointed toe. I don't want to get rid of these. On the other hand, like this faux suede material is getting a little bit worn i don't know if you can see that the rest of the shoe is kind of holding up well and the pvc here really hasn't yellowed or anything but if i'm getting rid of these i need a new pair because that's how much i love them don't know if you can see here they're just like not looking their best but then again nobody's up here looking at your shoes i'm gonna try to clean them and get all of the dust off and maybe that is going to make them look a little bit better another pair that are very much designer inspired uh, are these here you can see how worn these are obviously a drew for the Bottega Manetta I remember even making a video about trends I hate things I'll never wear and I said this kind of mule with a square toe and now I love them and I have so many shoes like that so funny I keep doing that I'm just gonna be honest I have no shame I have worn these so much they're starting to look a little bit worn I bought these from Boohoo and I think I need to buy a backup. This is a shoe I'm, I'm definitely going to be keep keep like wearing. And another kind of shoe that I definitely wouldn't be wasted buying the designer version. Because I know I would wear it so much. You can see underneath here. I am really working my way through that sole. And they're coming a little bit undone here as well. It's so funny because <laughs> this is inexpensive, cheap clothing for you. Can you see how it looks like it's stitched down? Yeah, it's not. I'm going to show you. It is starting to peel off here. And there, the stitching is only on this thing they have glued on. But it's not actually stitched down. You're going to judge me so hard because I'm going to keep it this shoe. Like, yeah. 
I don't blame you. Honestly, I don't blame you. But it's the same thing. I'm going to buy a new pair if I get rid of them, but do I get rid of them first and then buy a new pair or do I wait and replace them later? That sounds more sensible in my head that I wait and like, you know, that day where the heel breaks, I'm like, okay, well, finally you're out and then I'll buy a new pair. Ooh, I'm not doing as well as I thought I was going to. I have these shoes here, which also have a platform. They're quite high. I, after I broke my toe, these are too tight for me, but I have a DIY project for this. So I'm going to keep them for that. Okay, uh, I'm going to do some boots. <clears throat> these right here, super chunky black boots that I bought from H&M and these were like 70% off. I just bought these late last year i love this sort of like white thread going around the shoe I, i've worn it a couple of times uh they're really nice super comfortable with that chunky heel as well so they are definitely staying but i'm gonna put them into storage and then i have this pair from sarah uh i think the toe on this is really cool it has this like really pointed toe i think it's really cool and obviously all of these i don't know if like we are done with those like it's not as um, trendy as it was, but I still think that it's a pretty cool shoe and I wear it quite a lot. It's so elongating on my legs and this little chunky heel, can you see how tiny that is? But it still builds a little bit of height. It's, so I'm going to keep those. I actually wear those quite a lot in the winter time. Next, I have some shoes that you see me wear all the time and these are also some shoes I have in two colors. They are really nice they're again super super tall but they are surprisingly comfortable to wear and i love that it's very sort of stretchy um and just very comfortable to have on the foot and it's obviously so elongating as i have them in beige as well i'm gonna have a field trip trying to organize this then i have these boots right here i bought these from h&m in 2013 and i think i'm gonna feel like an idiot saying this I wore these once and they are some of the most uncomfortable shoes I have ever worn. There is something about the bottom of this shoe and it's just so hard and flat and the soles of my feet just felt like they were on fire so even though the heel isn't like the highest heel I have, it's fairly wide and there is so much coverage. This shouldn't be this uncomfortable of a shoe. Looking at it, I'm thinking about that one time I wore them. I can feel the burning in my foot. So why didn't I get rid of them? They weren't even expensive. I bought them from H&M and I think they were like seven pounds. How have you kept it? Some of the choices I've made in the past just make me question everything. Like how, why, just then I have another pair of boots and I wear these all the time. These are one of my rare flat shoes. <laughs> uh, I love this like silver metal detail here and it has an elastic. So uh, this is just like the pointed toe. Love this boot. I wear it all the time uh, in fall. This is where the embarrassing extent of my, let's say previous hoarder behavior is really coming out. So like, just be a little bit gentle with your judgment here. I remember that I bought these before I had my driver's license. They are at least 10 years old. I think I bought them in 2010 or 2009. I don't know if I've even worn them 10 times. This sort of shoe just really cuts me off at the worst possible point. It's like just under my ankle it's cutting off all of this and it's just like such an unflattering shoe on me i remember buying these and thinking i'm gonna wear it with like a cute short dress that's that's not cute anymore and i think i held on to them for a while thinking that that's gonna be the cool thing again i have taken care of the leather i've probably like conditioned the leather more times than i've worn it so i have to just like be realistic that these are not going to be worn by me again I just get so emotionally attached to all of my items. There is no reason to be. These like have no impact on my life. Why do I feel so strongly that I need to keep them? I, I don't even know. I... Um, there are a couple of shoes I haven't actually included. I have my sneakers here. Um, that I wear quite often. They are New Balance, which have like some of the softest shoes ever. 
Uh, they are getting like a little bit worn because I've worn them over a year and a half. They are a little bit expensive. So I try to wear them for as long as I can. I have a couple of other trainers as well. They are both from Nike, I think, and they are in my sort of like gym bag, the duffel bag I drag along with me to the gym. So I'm not gonna show those. And I'm definitely keeping them anyways. So, I mean, I have some over the knee boots, which are definitely a weakness for me. Now that I say that, I know that I'm missing a pair of brown over knee boots. And I'm actually missing like some ankle boots with, oh, they're so cute. Where have they gone? I hate this. Every time I move, I lose so many things and I don't know how. I have like some goblins in whatever moving truck I have and they just take my favorite things. Either way, I definitely have enough shoes as it is. So if somebody else found them and took them, uh, I hope they enjoy them. I'm gonna show you my over the knee boots. I'm gonna show you my favorites first. These right here. Oh my gosh, how cute are they? I bought these off of eBay and they had like one pair left in my size. I was so happy when I came across them. These are just some of the coolest shoes ever. Whenever I wear them, I get compliments. These are not going anywhere. Then I have this pair here. I like these because you can sort of fold them down and they are lined with wool. So they're super warm. They are leather and wool. They're great for the winter times, but they are so warm that these have to go into storage now. So my camera battery just died. I had to put in a new one. That's giving you sort of an indication of how long this is taking. Uh, but I am getting there, but like, oh my gosh, this is way more shoes than I kind of like thought I had. I have these. Uh, these are not technically over the knee boots, but they are my only pair of knee high boots. I bought these last spring from H&M. They are leather. They're sort of like from their premium collection. They are just so good and super chic. I think they look a lot more high end than H&M. I have two pairs of black over the knee boots that are sort of like in this faux suede material and I like these because they have this nice, chunky, very sensible heel height, but these don't really stay up that well. They're not, they're a little bit wide. There isn't any zipper and they're just like, they have stretch, but they look a little bit like slouchy on my legs and they have this like tie here. So you were supposed to be able to tie it. I never end up wearing these, even for outfits where I want to have a, this kind of shoe. I think I'm just gonna have to part with this pair and then I'll show you my second pair of over the knee boots. These really hit the mark. These are, I think these are buffalo. These have a zipper, they're really tight and just so beautiful on the leg. They're super stretchy, they stay up. They're really flattering because they are so tight. Oh, these are great. I wish I had this shoe in this height and also the other one I showed you, but I am definitely keeping these. They are for sure some of my favorite shoes, just a staple in my wardrobe. Oh, we're getting closer. Next, I have these Steve Madden, another pair, very similar to my Black Buffalo over knee boots. Um, again, it's the same stiletto heel and they're really long. The only thing is these don't have a zipper. I find that if they had a zipper, they would be a lot easier to put on because, oh my gosh, I have struggled some di days getting these on. But for now, I really, really love these. Another staple that I can't be without. I have another pair of boots here. Why have I kept these? I remember buying these for 25 pounds. They are leather and they were on sale. And I'm like, wow, that's such a great deal for leather. And then I didn't look at the toe and it's just like not my style at all. And the ankle is way too wide. So it's just not flattering on me. 25 pounds for something you wear. How many times have I worn this? I have worn it a few times, mostly because I'm like, I bought it. It's annoying if I don't wear it, but I never, I was never excited to wear them. Maybe apart from the first time, because I was like, oh my gosh, it's so fun to wear something new. But that was just like, not my best purchase. Is it even my size? It's a size too large as well. Probably the only size they had left and I'm like, it's close enough. I have two pairs of Toms. Uh-huh. So this is in leather, it's in Nubuck new book sorry i don't know how you say that in english but it is in leather it is fairly breathable but i have worn these a lot and i'm just not sure if 
they have another season in them and they are a little bit like difficult to put on i always need a shoehorn so whenever i wear these i need to grab a like a mini shoehorn with me and then i have these blue denim these are i i prefer the look of these i think they're really cute and they're also a bit like better for warmer weather the soles in these are just amazing which is why it's so hard to get rid of them so i'm trying to think would i buy these again today probably not if i'm being honest i often end up wanting to have a pair of sneakers instead because they have even more cushioning when i walk and i don't know it's more my vibe all right next i have these super cute shoes right here they have this really thick sole and look at these laces they are satin and just super cute. I mean, obviously you can just put satin laces on whatever shoe you want. I wanted to love these so much. I think they are so cool, but they are so stiff. I have tried to wear these in and they just rub on all the wrong places. They're not dirty, but they're just very dusty because I have not worn these. All right, let's do, I have three white trainers. Should we just do them all at once? First, let me start with these. They're really pretty, uh, but like these are in a too small of a size and I wore them once. And that is the day I learned you never put on a pair of shoes and walk out your front door because if they rub within like two minutes, you have worn them outside and you cannot return them. So that is what happened with these shoes. I just went into my car, I drove and on the drive there, I noticed that they were sort of too tight on my feet and I got to work and I had no other shoes and I wore these all day and I swear it was so bad the pain lasted for honestly for days so these have been sitting in a box for four years now or something like that something ridiculous so that is a shame that's totally on me that was a lot of money for one very painful day of wear so I'm gonna get rid of those, finally. I don't know why I keep that, because you keep it and you just feel bad every time you see those shoes. Like, just learn the mistake and move on. And I did really learn from the mistake whenever I buy a new pair of shoes now. I wear them inside for a few minutes, just keep them on my feet, because then it's a lot easier to notice whether they are actually fit. Instead of just like three minutes in a store, sometimes you don't always notice. Uh, then I have another pair of white sneakers and I have only worn these a couple of times These are some white leather shoes. So I haven't fully worn them in yet. I'm gonna be honest They are a little bit like tight to put on because there are no there isn't any stretch So it's just that I've been a little bit too lazy, but I think I will wear them a lot more and then, just quickly, I have my filas. They are super dirty. I wore these all through the winter time. I've had them for three years now. I wore them throughout winter and I got too much uh, snow and water in here so they started, um, the sole started to loosen from the shoe. I'm still debating whether I'm going to buy a new pair of these. I have one pair of shoes that are just purely decoration in my closet and I came across these on eBay. I just thought they were super cute with all these like rhinestones. I'm not even wearing it but it's going to stay in my closet. I can't get rid of it. Next I have a pair of shoes that I've never worn and it's these nude pumps right here. Uh, they are from Nisa. Um, I think it's a Spanish brand but I could be very wrong. And they just have this very sensible heel height, a beautiful rounded toe. The shade is just so pretty. So I haven't worn these because I haven't really had an occasion to wear them, but they are so beautiful that I have to keep them. I still really love them and I would actually still buy them again today because I don't have, I have a lot of nude heels, but they all tend to be like very high. So for me, it is very good to have something that is like a little less ankle breaking. And then I have another pair of over knee boots that I forgot to do. These have this like really cool, oh, they were looking like a bit brown. They're almost this like lilac-y, taupey, cool color. They stay up all day and they're just super comfortable to wear. So I am going to be keeping these as well. I have a pair of shoes that I'm not really sure about. And if you're into designer shoes, and even if you're not, you're just into shoes or even maybe not even then, 
these are obviously dupes for the valentino they don't have like the branding or anything they are just some shoes i got off of ebay uh i want to say three or longer than that four years ago i do kind of want the real version uh sometimes i just feel really icky that people have mistaken these for the real thing uh because that's not what i wanted which is maybe like why did you buy them then but i just really love the design and sometimes when i buy say designer bags i buy something quite similar to see if it suits my wardrobe my style and if i like wearing it before i buy the actual real thing uh but they are still like doing a fair job i am so unsure whether to keep these but i i think i really would miss them if i got rid of them maybe if i actually miss them maybe that's a sign i should get the real valentinos but they are so much money i don't think i can part with them then i have another pair of heels that i definitely definitely should get rid of but i can't <laughs> i don't really wear these anymore because look at them they have this huge platform they are definitely my highest heels but they have the platform so these are so ridiculously comfortable to wear I have worn these for hours and hours and hours and my feet have been fine but they are new look and I think I paid 15 pounds for them and the heel is like it is not a stable shoe anymore so I can't wear them the only thing is like I want a shoe that is built exactly like this because it is so comfortable so I haven't been able to get rid of it because I just need like the shoe for reference like what is the arch like? Where is the heel place? Because I need this kind of shoe in my life and I don't know what keeping these is necessarily going to make that happen but um, I can't get rid of them. I also have so many memories of wearing these shoes that it's just it's impossible. Oh my gosh I can't believe I am through. This was so much harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought today was going to be an easy one, like it was going to start easy, but decluttering, I don't tend to find it that easy, no matter what I'm trying to get rid of. But it feels good. Uh, I'm going to clean out of my sort of shelves and these pull-out shelves, and then I'm going to place my shoes in, and then we can have a look at all my hard work, and finally, hopefully, it's going to look really good. And I want to show you, I have sort of these plastic things. You can sort of roll these up and put them into your boots that are taller so they keep their shape a little bit better. I'm going to show you an example here with these beige ones. I used to roll up magazines and use stuff like that, but it's not very convenient and they often aren't the same size, so this is a lot easier. So they kind of keep their shape a little bit better, they stand and I just feel like they don't get as wrinkly, it looks nicer, it doesn't look as messy. So these are the shoes I'm going to put into storage. These boots right here have these IKEA boxes. I can't remember what they're called, but they fit really nicely into the wardrobe I have. Uh, I'm going to clean the leather and condition it so it's going to be ready when I take them out in the fall time. These are all the shoes that I'm getting rid of. I'm going to just go through and see what is going to be tossed and what might be able to be donated. That is about a third of my collection. So that makes me feel a little bit better. I felt like I was doing quite poorly. All right, I got my shoes placed. I'm so happy it's starting to sh take shape. So I got my mules here. I am going to place a bag up there and then I have some slides here. My white sneakers that I want to get more um, heels and there I have all of these I'm still kind of like I probably don't need all of these but I just really couldn't decide today gotta save something for next year huh it helps seeing what you have and just 
yeah, it makes it easier to get dressed and easier to see everything. So you'll actually wear it if you want to. And then it's easier to know if you are not wearing it. You don't really have the excuse of, oh, I just forgot I had it. I put my Orgony boots here uh, and you can just see it looks so much better when I have the sort of like plastic, I wouldn't call it like a sausage, but you know that the little things I put in there, they just look a lot better. I have an open space here, which I mean, that's never gonna hurt. So yeah, I'm really pleased so far. Uh, I think it came out pretty well. I'll show you these pull-out trays as well. I still have some more space and just like some summer heels. And this tray is, I just have like the shoes I take, the flat shoes when I go out. These heels that I don't really wear, but I'm gonna like, you know, I couldn't get rid of them. And also these over the knee boots. I ran out of these like plastic things. So I just put them in this box. Still have room for a few shoes here, but it's nice to have a little extra room, I guess. Oh, I'm looking quite sweaty. This has been going on for hours. <laughs> uh, I'm very happy to have this done. I feel so good now. There was a point there where I really wasn't too keen on continuing, but I'm really happy that I finished it. Now, the next thing to tackle is all this. If you think I should get rid of some more shoes, let me know which ones. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because this took me hours. And if you want to see more videos on fashion, decluttering, handbags, all those things, then hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.